to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe as I really do appreciate it and it makes my day. I also put out new Star Stable videos every single day, so make sure you have notifications on for that. And today, I know, I'm looking at you right now, bestie. I know, you haven't been training. Well, don't worry. Today, I bring you a 30-minute training time session thingamajig so we can train together. So feel free to join along. And today, I will be reading your spooky spookiest, scariest, star stable stories. So let's get right into it then. And basically I asked for what is your scariest star stable story or another thing you could answer what's your weirdest glitch because we know glitches are very scary in star stable, even though we see them like every day, but. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into the video then. There will be a 30 minute timer along the side so you can know how long you've been training for and let's get right into it, yay. Okay, so all of these are 100% anonymous unless you chose them not to be. So let's begin. First one says, I was doing the Gambit quest and so went back to Jorvik to wait for Galloper Thompson to chase me. I waited two minutes and he doesn't show up. Then I waited seven and 10 more minutes. He still didn't show up. Maybe I counted wrong, but it still felt like it's a long time. So I decided to do the race in Galloper's Keep. The first one with the memories went fine, but at the one with witches, everything seemed to be going great and all of that. But all of a sudden, I see Galloper Thompson chasing me. I got so startled and went into a few of the little bombs. In the end, he didn't catch me, but it just seemed so weird he started chasing me when I was doing a race. But I got the soul shards, so I guess that's all that matters. Bestie, I'm very happy that you got the soul shards. I was doing the Galloper Thompson thing once, and I didn't know how it worked when I tried it out for the first time, right? I was oblivious. So I was, like, just doing my pumpkin hunting, and then I hear this change of music, and all of a sudden I'm like, what is going on? And then I turn around, and he's like, this, this close. I don't know what this is, but this close to catching me. That close. So that was a very skizzling moment, but I'm happy that you got your soul shards. Anyways, the next one says, my weirdest glitch is either when someone logged out and you could still see them, or when I just went through the falling rocks. I didn't get the whole hit by falling rocks message. Honestly, that second glitch sounds like a lifesaver because I hate the falling rocks because it goes like once really small falling rocks, you know, and then it goes like another huge falling rocks and then you wait a little bit and you're like, okay, I could go. So you go, but then another huge falling rocks comes and you got hit by them and then that's all there is. So you take more time than if you would have just waited for the two big falling rocks to go. It is such, it is such a bad thing. So I really like that second glitch, bestie. Hand me that, hand me that glitch. The next one says, one time I got Star Rider for one to two months and things started to get weird. I joined a club which was Western and after one week of staying in the club, they started to get very weird. Every time we got an event call or anything like that, they're all typing in chat and once I arrived, they said, we were watching you and spammed that in chat and just followed my horse everywhere I went. Then I got a knock on my door and I later ran for my life and got a fork from my room and opened the door and it was my mom, but my club member were all offline when I came back and got a message from one of the club members saying, don't worry, we won't watch you tonight. I left the club as fast as I could and unfriended everyone, logged out of Star Stable, and haven't logged on for two months. That's kind of strange. Oh my goodness, your first club ex- Well, one of your first club experiences. That is terrible. But I'm sure if they haven't done anything for two months, they should be good, right? You could just join a different club, maybe. That's- that's my opinion. I know, so great advice right there. Just join a different club <laughs> if you don't like it, yes. Next one says, it was actually not that long ago. I came out of my stable, then went through the Halloween portal. It glitched me back to my home stable, but I was under the world of Jorvik. I turned up my volume and heard loud screeching noises and the sound of when Galloper chases you in Galloper's Gambit. Except I haven't paid for it. I was super scared and just ended up logging off because it was three in the morning too. I have heard some stories of people getting glitched beneath the map because of the Halloween update, but I didn't know how they do it. So that is kind of very strange. The screeching noises, I literally have no idea where that would have come from. Maybe the raven pets were glitching you out or something but i i hope you got that glitch fixed because we do not like being underneath the world of Jorvik unless we're exploring 
Yes. Weirdest glitch was when all my horses and my character were glitched and it looked like noodles. Sounds a beautiful glitch, bestie. Noodle stable. When someone in all black followed me around till I logged off, that person was either pranking you or probably just having a fun time. I, I feel like that happens a lot in Star Stable, not gonna lie. Just random people following random people or maybe that's just me doing it. But you know what? Um, we're not gonna talk about that. I was once playing SSO at night and it was in 2019 and then I heard someone saying I know where I live. And then she left and came back online and said I know your name and age. I was scared at first but then it was my real life friend joking around but there was this bug when I was doing a champ I would teleport somewhere else. It was in 2018. That sounds super weird for the bug one, not gonna lie. Teleporting somewhere else. I feel like that would kind of suck because you're like oh my goodness I'm near the end of the championship but then you're not. You're not near the end of the championship because, you know, like, that would suck if you were right near the end and then you teleport somewhere else. I'm happy they fixed it, or I hope they did. I don't know the weirdest, but one day I was on SSO and I saw a bot riding the Pentabian and the horse was just not moving and it was sliding. Love your videos, by the way. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. And yeah, that happens a lot to me too. Also, random star stable people and characters sliding around Yorvik. It's... It's a lovely little feat, not gonna lie. Weirdest glitch, when I w did Galloper's Gambit and I lost it, I teleported back to my home stable and the whole world was black. Georgia clear wave. Did they fix that? Like, did you unlog and relog and unlog? <laughs> did you un- Yeah, that's right. Did you unlog out of Star Stable or log out? I should- Okay, why am I having a conversation about this? Did you log out of Star Stable and log back in and fix that? Because a lot of people haven't been getting that actually. Thank you for submitting a training time. Next one. I- So one time I was in more and someone was following me. I noticed they were dressed in black, then randomly this person said my in real life name. I freaked out and asked the person how they knew my name. They didn't respond. I logged off and freaked out because I had never seen that person before or even met them. That's kind of really creepy, not gonna lie. Unless they're just really good at guessing people's names. That would be a fun superpower to have and you go online and follow people around and guess their names and you get it right like maybe 50% of the time, but that is so weird. That is so weird. I would actually be scared. Well, well, you guys know my real name, so I mean, I don't know if I would be scared <laughs> because it would probably just be one of you besties. Once my account password wasn't working, after like 30 tries, I thought someone hacked me, so I had to change my pack password and I'm still not actually sure what it was. If you have siblings, I feel like they might have changed your password. Not sure though, you know? When I entered my home stable and all my horses disappeared. That would actually be scary though. In Star Stable, all your horses disappear and you don't get them back. But actually, there is this one glitch I keep getting where sometimes one of my horse's icons, you know when you go to like organize your horses in your own stable and you bring up that tab or like that kind of menu and you see all your horses from like a bird's eye view? Well, uh, one of my horses is always missing and I move one other horse on top of where I knew I had a horse there. I see it in my stable, but it's not showing up on the bird's eye view. So I put a different horse there and it doesn't show up on my inventory unless I relog. And does anyone else have that? glitch because I feel like I've been getting it a lot recently and it's actually kind of annoying not gonna lie of course I always do end up getting the horses back but it's just a little bit strange to say the least like it's a little bit strange next one says one time about two or three years ago there was a glitch when I was completing a quest and a ghost started chasing me I wasn't even part of the quest like it full-on followed me across the map it was scary lol I have never heard of that you're probably I have never heard of that actually. I hope it doesn't happen now. Imagine you're questing and a random ghost from Star Stable starts chasing you when you're doing like butterfly collecting. I mean, I still have to do that, so. Yeah, but that would kind of actually be really scary. I feel like someone would have been hacking me if that happened because I've never heard of that happening before. Honestly, Galloper Thompson chasing me is the scary thing that happened to me so far. Literally, he pops out in the worst moments. You're probably like in that championship screen, you know? Like when you have to wait there and you can't move your horse. You physically cannot touch your keyboard. You cannot like, well, you can physically touch it, but it won't like move your character around because the championship's starting. And I feel like he'd pop up then. Just in the worst magical time, the wor the worst magical times, what? The worst imaginable times in Star Stable. That is when 
he is most likely to pop up. Expect the unexpected at this point. Like, what is this man doing? I was playing SSO like normal. I checked my email for one second and I heard battling and SSO. Battling? <laughs> battling? I had no idea what it was. Then my world went black and my horse went invisible. I was just floating. It was very weird. I had no idea what was happening. Oh my- I hope they fix that. That is very random. I have also never heard of that happening. You guys are getting like the weirdest glitches battling. So you just hear like, hey I'm fighting you. Hey and then the world went black and your horse goes invisible and you're just floating in space. It sounds like a lovely glitch. It's space stable now, guys. It's astronaut fights. So once I was in a call with my club. My sister decided to log on. She happened to spawn right next to someone. They friended her and she accepted. He said, you live on my house. She got so scared we had to move and get the police involved. Love you, Sharky. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry you had to went through that. Stay safe, that sounds terrible. I'd be shaking my timbers like, oh my goodness. I hope you guys are safe. I hope it wasn't just your friend pranking you because let's look at an extreme prank, you know, like your in real life friend logs on and you get the police involved. Like that's really extreme for your friend to do that. But I ha I hope you're safe. That sounds terrible. Oh my goodness. Once a random person asked me to follow her. I said no and went to meet my friends. The person followed me the whole way asking me to follow all the time. I almost logged off. It actually scared me. I feel like that would be a prank that someone would play. I don't know. I just feel like it. Star Stable, you just have the best pranks, not gonna lie. One day early this past summer, my horses were glitched and looked like accordion, though my mom compared them to crabs. Your local French bagel. That is an also awesome Instagram username. Fancy, very snazzy. I remember when the old American quarter horses looked like accordions and I oh don't know, that was just a fun time, you know? And then apparently the T-Rex horse, no, no, a horse turned into a T-Rex once. I didn't see that one personally, but I would have loved to if it did happen. It was the one unicorn frozen main horse that apparently turned into a T-Rex, but I d that never happened to me. I don't know. I was doing the night dust mission and when I was escaping, I glitched to the map and I got at Fort Pinta, but everything was black all around me. I think when that happens to you, you actually have access to the whole map. Shh, I didn't- I didn't tell you anything, but like, if opponent is blocked off, there might be a chance you could get it, but it's very risky and you might get banned, but I'm just saying. I think you have access to the whole map if that happens. Um, anyways, moving on, you didn't hear it from me. You didn't hear it from me. I got stuck at Silverglade after I failed the Galloper race and tried to redo it. You got stuck in Silverglade like there was- I- I actually think that's possible. Like, if a haunted trail ride glitches, and you know when you try to leave the haunted trail ride, there's like fire, sometimes like a firewall that says, you can't go here, bestie, turn back. So I feel like if you glitch that, it would fire all around Silverglade. That's just how I'm picturing it, but that's very weird. I hope you got out of Silverglade. Silverglade is a lovely place though, but I mean, I hope you got out. Like, we wouldn't want to stay there for like 30 days. That would actually be so annoying. If you're you're stuck somewhere or some people have a quest in Epona that they can't access because they have to do like reputation or something before getting it that is so annoying as well I could that why star stables like no Q have a quest in Epona but you can't go there do your reputation but I mean it is good motivation to do your reputation so we can't complain from Anushka West Smith. When I started up Star Stable, a random creepy figure appeared like a Star Stable character clown. The glitch has been fixed, but scared me so much. It's me again. I feel like that's happened a lot. Like people got random jump scares of Star Stable characters on their screens before, and it is just the most random thing. I think they fixed it, but it was mostly for MacBook users. Next, a scary story. My scariest story is during the Halloween event. I was going through the trail ride doing a scavenger hunt with my club and when I looked in the new cave I saw myself confused me a little bit and I just ran off the next one is the galloper gambit quest he never immediately goes after me and waits
wait so long till I forget and then he starts chasing me. The noises are terrifying in my opinion. The screams and demonic noises made my heart drop. And I have one more. One time I looked at my backpack and I had one star coin. I know, scary. That's very scary, that last one. It is the most scary. One time I had this glitch where I could get on the wild horses at South Hoof. Like, imagine getting your star stable character on the horses at South Hoof as like an extra thing, like hidden secret in the game where you could run up to the horses and maybe feed one a carrot or something and then it let you ride it for a little bit, like maybe around the map for like 10 minutes. That would be awesome. And then at the end, it would teleport you back there and say, the horse is tired, replenish food or something like that. That would be cool. Coming up with the great star stable ideas. That is a great idea, actually. My horse had turned inside out. One of the weirdest glitches on SSO is when you jump on the old American paint horses and you do a 360 and flips in the air. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you as well. And that is definitely a weird glitch. We can all agree. One time when I was a noob, someone was standing next to me when I logged on. They had asked me where I was going and I told them that I was going to Fort Pinta. They said they were going to Fort Pinta as well. Well, we act eventually they kept on copying and mocking everything I did and said. I started to travel to Fort Pinta and they followed me. I stopped and they stopped. Then I asked them what they were doing and they replied, what are you doing? I then went to my home stable and then rode back to Fort Pinta. They were still there standing where I had left them. Well, they saw me again and started following me. They were being really creepy, so I decided to log off. Then I waited a bit while I logged off and decided to log back on. They were still there, so I just stayed in Moreland. That's really strange, though. This person just, like, dedicates their whole day to uh, stalking you in Star Stable. Oh my goodness. And now you didn't go to Fort Pinta. No! I hope you achieve your dream of going to Fort Pinta. I- Good luck to you. So, I was doing the dance glitch once, and that- For people who don't know, the dance glitch is basically where you take the dance from a place and bring it with you so you can dance anywhere around the map, which is awesome, but I think you can get- Some people have been getting suspended for it, so- yeah, just be cautious. Once, and I went to the square paddock where you learn to jump, and I danced there. Suddenly, I got pulled underground, and it gave me to you are in a closed off area message and teleported me all the way back to the place is where Mario said, you failed the scientist quest, try again. And it scared me so bad, I logged off Star Stable and didn't play for the rest of the day. Oh my goodness, that is like a random glitch. Once, I had the dance glitch, and I... Like, it was basically where you run and then you press dance, but I didn't know that it would, like, kind of do this to your character and ricochet you somewhere, but I did that and I was talking to some people in-game, and that actually gave me a chat ban, even though I was not chatting. I was salty for that, not even gonna lie. I once had a glitch where I was on top of Jorvik and could see the whole entire map from a bird's eye view. That would be awesome. Oh my goodness. The invisible glitch. The invisible glitch is actually really helpful. I don't know. I feel like we should have an invisible feature in Star Stable where other people will still see your character, but maybe you won't be able to see your character in case you want to like get some good movie shots or something. You know, you might want to film the game and being invisible just helps add the physique to it. I was enjoying playing Star Stable with my friend and my screen just went black and deformed horse just jump scared me. I turned my PC off and just stood there like ah! I turned back on and it was still there and so I cried. It's my last day of being Star Rider and it got wasted. Once Yidris's eyes were all right it was the last week and the glitch where you try to log into your stable but it's not your stable. I don't have a black gen 3 OTTB. Mine is chestnut, so I logged out. Imagine going in your home stable and it, it like brings you to a random person. That would be a cool feature too though. Imagine like there were top stables of the day. Like you could customize your stable, right? Maybe buy star coins for a chair or some fairy lights or something, but imagine that, okay? So you get to customize your own stable and then in the corner, like you could browse the top 10, maybe top 10 stables of the day. So you go and you click it and you can rate other people's home stables. I'm just coming up with these great ideas here. You guys are like inspiring me, but you could rate other people's home stables and get in the top 10. And maybe the top 10 refreshes every week and you could just go and have a party with an unlimited amount of people in stables. Star stables. 
stable. That is such a good idea. Please, that would be so fun to visit the top 10 stables for the day. One time in SSO, I logged on and I was riding sa side saddle. I know this is a commonish glitch, but I thought it was funny. Oh, you're literally riding on the side of the horse? That is skills. That takes skill, bestie. I applaud you. Another time, I was doing a race in some quest with Madison. I jumped and I fell through the floor of Star Stable and kept falling for eternity. Legend has it, you're still falling to this day. One of my weirdest glitches I have ever experienced is when I was jumping around the new club riding hall when it came out, and then suddenly I fall through the club riding hall floor and I'm walking on top of Silverglade Village. Is that the bird's eye glitch that someone was just talking about? You're walking right on top of Silverglade? That actually is kind of concerning, not gonna lie. You just start walking on Silverglade, but I mean, that would be fun if it resets though. I was doing the Ashland glitch and then I realized that someone was following me. They're just trying to learn from you. You know, I've never actually been to Ashland. I wonder if they're working on it. I think this weird glitch is pretty common, but when you're when the ground goes black and you can only see horses' eyes and people's hair, and sometimes trees, by the way, you're iconic. You're iconic too, thank you so much. I don't think that's common though. I've never seen anyone do that. I kinda wanna see what happens when you do that now. Like, that sounds interesting. One time I was doing a realistic role play and I was in the space between Moreland and Fort Pinta. Then I heard a really loud scream and my computer froze. Then I got a message saying the wolves chased you away from their territory. The wolves, oh, the wolves. Where were the wolves? After that traumatic experience, I didn't play for three months, but at least when I logged on, I had a ton of star coins. Oh, wait, for a second there, I was about to say, Star Stable reimbursed you. But no, you probably just waited three months. But I mean, yes, you did have a lot of star coins. That is a plus. I think I logged off Star Stable for half a year and only had 3,000. But I mean, 3,000 is a lot. It definitely takes some getting up to the star coin amount though, <laughs> definitely. So I mean, the wolves saved your star coins. Let's look at it that way. Basically, I was questing in Dino Valley and I was running across the frozen lake when they were at least 20 plus people. None were in groups, standing in a circle with no horses in sight. I went past them and they all turned at the same time and said, we are coming for you, did not go back on for a week. That shocks me, actually. If they were NPCs, I would I would have a bad day. NPCs in a circle with no horses. Where were they in the club? Because that just feels like a club activity. I'm getting club vibes from this. Okay, so this is both scary and a glitch. So if you enter the Galloper Thompson race on a magical horse in its magical coat, realistic coat will show on the Shire model. I found this out by accident, and let's just say the coat did not fit the model at all. The teeth were on the other side of the horse's hooves, the eyes were stretched all over the body, and there were random hoof prints on the body as well. Thank you for the glitch, buddy. <laughs> buddy, buddy. No, thank you for the glitch, bestie. We will now utilize that. As a collective, it sounds very be How to retexture Star Stable Horses 101. You heard it first here. So, I w it was just casually on a so the other day when after getting out of my home stable, everyone was upside down. Very weird because the horses were diving on the ground. My eyes almost came out of, of surprise and laughter. Most of the NPCs were laying down as well. That sounds crazy. Oh my goodness. And I was with my friend chilling at the disco alone at like 2 a.m. And when we wanted to see if anyone else was alive on our server, we're not on America, we're from European servers. So we asked that and no reply. And so when we said we'd be giving out 5,000 star coins to whoever showed up, then a girl came and she started asking us for the star coins. And we were really shocked because we thought there was no one. Then she started following us, yelling us and saying something about how rude we were and telling her dad was in the hospital because because of us. Then we got decided to calm her down and then when my friend logged off, the girl admitted that she lied. Such a real story and the moral of it is, kids control ourselves please. Also, I was casually doing the Galloper's Headless Horseman race and then on the Mistfall Logs part, I fell underground and saw the giant squirrel from last year. They took it off and it looks like they actually put it down. The Mistfall squirrel is randomly hiding in Mistfall? What? <laughs> New treasure hunt guys. Glitch underground to find the Mistfall squirrel. Actually, don't do this. No glitch. No, no, no. And thank you so much for uh, submitting a training time. I love your story so much. 
the time I started the Mordland Championship just as Gulliver Thompson was starting to chase me. So there I was doing the champ as a headless guy on a huge horse chase me. Gotta get that motivation. Galloper's helping you out. Galloper's helping you out with that motivation, bestie. Not only do you have championship on the line and winning that championship on the line, you now have a headless man chasing behind you. So you got that motivation. When I entered the pumpkin portal first time last year, it teleported me back to my home stable. We love when portals don't work. Very lovely. I was just like chilling at Steve's, doing some training, and then I teleported to my home stable at Wild Woods because I just maxed the horse. So as the call for pickup thing went away, the sky and all the grass and water went black, so I couldn't see it, but it was there. So I just casually ran around for a bit and then got worried that I'd get a warning, so I logged out. That is a very random glitch as well. I hope, I hope it fixed. Like, we hope it fixes. Yeah. From Anushka West Smith, I was on a so and my cat jumped on me. Not weird, but the second I got a jump scare by a cat in Star Stable, dropped my laptop and it broke. Fix your, no, not the laptop breaking. I'm so sorry. I hope you get it fixed soon. Then I went into an unlocked area and a so and a warning appeared on my screen saying multiple attempts of trying to get into a locked area could get me banned. Oh my, that reminds me. When the second part of Wildwoods was released, I think, I think this is not Redwood, but like the area that came out after Wildwoods, redwood so actually wild woods when that was being released there was this huge glitch where no one could actually enter and it kept giving us warnings so there was just a huge group of people while star stable was making a hot fix for it and i think it took about like three hours so it was a while but we eventually did get the hot fix and now you could go to wild woods with no problem but that reminded me of that when i tried jumping while going into my stable but went through the wall into the new stable of steve's farm that is crazy i mean at least we know where the home stable leads to i was riding my halloween pumpkin horse and i clicked to start Galloper's Memories Race, and the horse was glitched with the pumpkin horse's normal strewn all over its body, and it had no mane or tail. The Star Stable's trying out some new retextures for the horses with your account. A few days ago, I was trying some weird glitches I found on YouTube. Rebellious, I see, and somehow mess went up. The screen was stuck in Moreland. I was originally in my stable, and I couldn't see me or anyone, and the camera wouldn't move. The scariest thing about this glitch was that the area was completely black, other than the few shops, walls, and NPCs. I tried calling pickup, however, it would just light up and go back to darkness. Thankfully, it fixed itself when I lagged back in. I'm happy it fixed your- <laughs> I'm happy it fixed yourself! I mean itself! Oh my goodness, that sounds crazy. I'm happy it fixed itself because staying in that world, the underworld of Star Staple is just- is questionable. I was once just questing and 10 minutes after started, me with no horse when I was riding him, I was like this baby pink area with nothing around me. It was actually kind of funny because my character was moving in every direction and twisting and twirling. Star Stable is introducing some new dance. There was this scary glitch I had about a year ago. During June, I decided I was going to try to get into the crater slash black hole at Devil's Gap in Yarlaheim. Glitched inside then explored for a bit. Suddenly my screen turned black. I waited for a few seconds until I could see something again. Once it loaded, my character and horse were black. I could see underneath the ground and when I looked at the crater, there was the red thing below. I tried to climb down and it actually worked. I went to the bottom of the crater and closer to the red thing. It looked like the scary shadow creatures from Pandoria. I went up to it and my game did this weird noise and it was scary. Then shut off my game and brought me back to my desktop background. I think this might have happened because the game may have broke while it was trying to send me to the restricted area message. I also think SSO put that phantom thing there for some kind of update for Devil's Gap. Maybe once we get the quest, we might fight off one of those creatures. I don't know if anyone else got the same glitch, but it was terrifying. Thank you for reading Martin Yellowrock. That definitely sounds terrifying. Not even going to lie. Oh my goodness. But at least it fixed itself. With all these glitches, at least they fixed themselves. Warning, this is very creepy. So it was Saturday on Drama Meadow, Pumpkin Meadow. I remember the date specifically since the summer update from last year just came out a few days before. 
I was checking out the new seahorse and trying to convince my sister to get one. My sister to get one. Randomly, some player left the group she was standing with and came from under the Fort Pinta stairs, which we were standing near and approached us. Me trying to be polite said hi and asked for their opinion on one of the horses. And they said this somewhere, something around the lines of hello. Well, I like the hooves. My sister confused, so she just went to the quest to leave me with the person. I politely said agree to disagree. The person asked if she can sniff my feet. I said no and ignored her. I ran to the nearest quest to make an attempt at erasing them from my mind. And about an hour later, the girl found me and asked me the same thing again. I checked my ignore list and for some reason she wasn't on there even though I specifically had ignored her earlier. I didn't think much of it and ignored her again. A few days later, I logged on for dressage practice and I saw the girl standing near the trees on the path to RA riding arena. She once again approached me and asked if she can smell my feet. I left the game not even caring about practice, just wanting to switch servers, which I did to Hazy Galaxy. I logged on after I switched servers and began to train my horse when the same girl came up to me and said, I will never leave your feet. I checked the ignore list, which she said, and contacted SSO support. I didn't log on for about a week, hoping she got suspended, banned, or hopefully forgotten about me. When I logged back on, I never saw her again. Sometimes I still wonder whatever happened to her. Is she still a creep? Did she get banned? What happened? But that's my story. That is very strange to be able to pinpoint what server someone is moving to and go to that exact same server is very strange, but I'm happy that you got it solved. And that is all the time we have for today's training time. Bye everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this 30 minute training session with me and that it motivated you to train besties. By the way, this is your sign to get training. Max those horses. Yes. And stay tuned for more upcoming videos in the future as I post new Star Stable videos every single day. And yeah, bye. Thank you so much for watching.